Hi, welcome to Brush Tips with Sherry. Today we get to paint sunflowers. So this is a great fall painting. Um, it is something that will bring you joy all year round. So that's why I chose to paint this one today. So our colors today are orange, phthalo green, phthalo blue, purple, yellow, white, raw sienna, and burnt sienna. No, burnt umber. <laughs> Sorry. And then we also have a few brushes here. So I actually have four here today, but we're going to use this big daddy brush for the background. And then we have this little tiny one that's just for some little detail work. Then we have the pointed one and then the rounded one. All right, so let's get started. We're going to take that big daddy brush and this is more of like a watercolor background. This is one of my favorite backgrounds to do. I love playing with watercolors. So to do an acrylic background with watercolors is fun. So what you do is just grab some water and some white paint on your brush and just start painting. And I know you aren't going to really see it, um, but that's okay. We want it to just be watered down white. For right now, ooh, it just splashed. When we go to put on the colors, you'll see how they'll kind of soak right into the canvas. So just keep adding all of this white on, and it doesn't have to cover it completely or perfectly. It's okay if it doesn't, because we're going to add some more paint on top of it. We're just giving it a friendly base, a nice friendly base here. All right, perfect. All right, yay. So I love like the purples and the blues mixed together as you can see on the painting. And there's some green and some oranges mixed together. So let's work on those oranges first. So clean off that big daddy brush. Now when we use orange, we need to be real, real careful that we don't mix it with other colors until it's dry. Orange likes to be real um, muddy. He likes to ruin a whole painting, that orange. Just like it ruins your toothpaste after you brush your teeth and you eat an orange. This is kind of like what happens if you paint <laughs> with orange and other colors, except for yellow and red, but we're not doing those. Okay, so orange. So see how it's just kind of faded out a little bit? And then you can take your finger and run it over like this and just kind of let it soak right into that canvas. And then let's add a little up here. If you don't want to do it like this, you can definitely grab a paper towel. I have a lot of orange paint on my brush. I'll wipe some of that off. I'm going to use whatever is left in my brush. Where else? Oh, we have a little bit over here. We can even add just a little tiny bit down there. Oh, look at that's making a mess. Catch it, catch it. Okay. So don't forget about the sides of your paintings like I almost did. I actually painted another painting to do on today's show and I decided at the last minute that I didn't like it. <laughs> so I did this. Maybe I'll fix it and I'll do it on another show, but it was like a rainbow background with a big heart tree. So the tree was like that big heart in the middle of it. And I was like, nope, not doing it. Wasn't feeling it. So, oh well, we got this one instead, but this one's a great one. Okay, so the next thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna grab some of this purple, and mix a little bit of white with it. I'm going to come close to the orange, but I don't want to over blend it into the orange. Make it kind of messy over here. That's what I'm going for. It looks like there's a little pink in this painting, but that's okay. We don't need to put the pink in the painting unless you want to. Blend it in a little bit, play with it. 
Again, if you aren't comfortable putting your fingers on your canvas, just grab a paper towel and use a paper towel to kind of blend it out. Good. Kind of throw a little bit more on there, just wherever. The flowers are gonna cover up a lot of it, but I like to give it more of like a definition. Okay, so I'm gonna grab some green now, so I'm gonna water that down, play with it over here on the side, and then just start adding it like on here, on our canvas. Perfect. Oops, whoops, whoops. We're gonna drop this canvas. Stop pushing so hard, Sherry. <laughs> it's all good, look at that, perfect. I love this watery down background. I have a few paintings um, that I actually have as this watercolor background, so I can show you some more if you request to see them. I have one that's real pretty. It's got a big dream catcher on it, and everyone loves dream catchers, so who wouldn't want to use that or have that one? Okay, we're going to do that again. We're going to do it with blue this time. Just a tiny, tiny little bit. Just going to add it here. I kind of like that pink in there, so maybe I will grab some red and make some pink. I think the pink definitely makes it stand out. Throw some blue on here. I'm going to water this down a little bit. And voila. Just fill this all in with whatever it watery paint is on my brush. Just kind of throw it on there and it'll kind of blend it all in. Perfect. And of course, I didn't do any of my sides, so I guess I'll have to play around with those. I can't believe it. Oh, I did up here, I did orange. That works. I'm gonna add a little tiny bit of pink here. Let's grab some red. Just a tiny little dot. I just changed things up a little bit, mid-painting, right? I, you know what, I'll mix it with a little bit of purple too and that'll give us a real pretty, look at that, perfect. That's what I was looking for there. Whoops. Let's hit a little bit on the side, just so we can say we actually did some of the sides. Who knows, maybe somebody will want this painting. If you ever do want a painting from the show, just shoot me a message. If you don't mind sharing them. Spread that out. Ooh. I didn't know we were going messy today. That's all right. I like the messiness of paint sometimes. And this is a new sweater, so it honestly needs its blessing from the paint. I don't think I have any paint on it yet. And this is a brand new shirt, the first time I ever wore it. So we'll see what happens. All right, perfect. So we gotta let this dry. Let it dry. It'll dry pretty quick because it's water. And sometimes when the paint is real wet, that's when it doesn't dry real well. So this will actually dry pretty good because the water absorbs right into that canvas pretty quick. So you could always use a watercolor instead of using the washed down acrylic. We encourage you to use that too. Um, you might need a different, you can use it on a different canvas. They have watercolor canvases. We have watercolor paper. They also have really cool watercolor pens. Oh, I do have one. So this is my daughter's. I'll show it to you while we're letting this dry. So this is a really cool watercolor pen. What it does is this all fills up with water in the bottom and then the top is a brush. So you can actually get this and fill it with water and then just carry around your watercolors and like a little pad and just she just watercolors right in there, practices techniques and stuff like that. So it's a really, really neat, neat gift there or a neat tool to have in your toolbox of paints in your bag of tricks, Felix. <laughs> I used to have a cat named Felix. 
Felix the Cat in his bag of tricks. <laughs> he was my favorite. All right, this is drying super fast. So when we go to start these sunflowers, they're layered on top of each other. If you are nervous about layering, it's okay. We don't have to layer them. You can separate them all. But when we go to layer them, if you need to draw them on with a piece of chalk, definitely put them on with a piece of chalk, okay? This is almost dry. I just need the center part real quick. Ready? Elsa, let it dry. <laughs> oh, it's almost, almost. We're super close. Here we go. Perfect. It's looking good. All right. So let's stick that up there. Let's grab our little round brush. Not the little, little one, but the medium one. And, oh, look at that. I just wiped my hand on my sweater. So there it is, sweater's ruined. No, I'm just kidding, it's not ruined. Okay, so we're gonna grab some yellow and some of this uh, raw sienna here. And let's just make a circle. So here's the base. this nice bouquet of sunflowers, right? I just like to have this nice base on there. We can do the same thing over here. Add this little circle. Start to add the sunflowers, petals. however we want to do them. We're going to switch brushes in a minute. This is just to draw it on. If you need to draw it on with chalk, you can draw it on with chalk too. We're going to make these super big petals, so they're all going to kind of blend together here in a minute. I'm just getting that little bit of a texture base part on there so you can see what we're going to be dealing with, okay? There it is, friends. So I'm going to grab this rounded smaller brush right here and grab some yellow and put that first coat on and these are really big petals just a quick base is what i'm doing right now and it's okay to go over these ones we're going to go back over them. So if we need to hide these petals, we can hide the petals too. Perfect. And just keep doing that all the way around to get this. There we go. Perfect. I'm loving this. I'm so glad I picked to do this one. I was so down on myself about that painting today. And I thought, which one in here is going to brighten up my day? Let's do these sunflowers. Sometimes I get that way, and that's all right. I just go into painting. I'll go back to the studio and fix it. And then I'll be super pretty. And I'll love it to death. All right. Sunflowers are kind of pointy, big big petals there. I'm going to grab some of this burnt umber right here. I'm going to go in a circle and kind of texture it up all around. I'm just dabbing around it. Same thing here. Texture, dab, dab, dab. And here, circle, circle, circle. Let's get some texture. Dab, dab, dab. We're going to let these dry a second. And then we'll start adding all the little details into it. I need it to dry pretty quick. So let's go, let's go, let's go. <laughs> Again, we need to get that little fan in here. <laughs> I could tell Vance to bring it home from school now because it's not hot. He doesn't need it. I need it. Your mama needs it, Vance. Are you listening, son? <laughs> He's going to be like, really, mom? Tell him, tell him. 
Okay, here we go. Next step. Let's grab that brush again, same half rounded one. And let's just kind of play around with the colors a little bit. We'll grab some more yellows, but make them a little bit darker. Kind of throw that on there. See how I grab some of that raw sienna in there and that burnt umber. Yeah, we'll cover up that, cover that. Let's grab some more yellow. Brighten these guys up. Perfect. Oh, I love it. Through here, because this petal's gonna come down and overlap on top of this guy. This petal's gonna come overlap here. We'll just keep kind of throwing it on there and just building up those fun layers because that's what this is about, just brightening up these flowers. Perfect. Perfect, perfect. I always feel like I have my back to you whenever I'm painting sometimes, so I apologize for that, but I know I have to face the painting. <laughs> All right. Now, if anyone is at home painting along, please, please, please send us in your pictures. I absolutely love, love seeing everyone's artwork. It makes me feel so good, makes me feel so happy that you guys are at home and I'm able to bring some joy into your life right there in your house or at work or wherever you are. So I do appreciate you um, watching and painting along. All right, so we're just gonna add a couple more little fun highlights through here. Whoop, buckle these up. Pull some big ones up here. And let's add a little tiny bit of white. It shows on there that there's some like fun fun white spots on some of these. This guy over here, I feel like I've neglected him. So I'm just gonna grab some of this Rossi Enna and Burnt Umber mixture that I have and throw some on there. I'm gonna darken this up. I actually put a little black on my plate just in case I felt like I needed to brighten this up, darken this up, I should say. There we go, perfect. And we can even add a little tiny bit of black around the edges of some of these, too, if we wanted to. It just adds, like, some flair to it. Perfect. We'll clean that up, too. I'll end up putting a little brown over them. Or just really, really soft with this brush. If you need to, you can grab your little brush and use your little brush to go over them, too. I do want to clean off a little bit of this paint, though. I'm going a little crazy there. Getting a little bit dark, away, taken away from our sunflowers. Put a couple little hidden petals back there if you need to. You can do that, too. Fill this up. I feel like... It's not real big over here. There we go, perfect. I love it, it's coming along so great. These are like little abstracty flowers and that's okay. I guess that's what I'm in the mood for today, some abstract flowers. Oh, perfect, perfect. I'm digging it. Add a little messies over here. How's this looking? A little bit better, huh? Brightening that up. Let's grab this little round brush here. And add some fun little light texture in here. On here I have like a couple dots. We could do a couple dots just for fun. 
can add a little squiggly, you can add a little white in here, maybe throw some harder white lines on here. Do that here, here. I love it. It's looking so good. Now we get to do the leaves and the leaves are fun. So you're going to end stems. You're going to focus where they're like coming down into a bouquet. Okay. You can grab some of this green and a little bit of this yellow, mix it to the side over here. You can make a really, really light green or a really, really dark green. I'm going to go with like a medium. And all you do is just with the tip of your brush, like this. They aren't really coming from anywhere. They're just kind of hanging out here. You can even add a little over to the side here. And maybe a nice leaf up here. See how you make those leaves? They're just like almond shapes. Then fill them in. Fill this in. Let's do another little leaf over here. Throw that on. Oh, look, we have a little fun guy over here like that. Let's see, what else? We have another little swishy guy right there. We actually have two leaves right there, huh? I guess we'll do another leaf. Perfect. Awesome. I love it. Love it, love it. So uh, let's see, what do we have over here? A little, shoo, little squishy. Shoo, 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 shoo. You like that sound effect? I know. I know, it is good. And swish, 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 swish. Choo, 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 choo. Now that everyone's super relaxed, <laughs> I'm like, let's get excited. <laughs> Let's throw in a leaf in here, little tiny ones, little tiny guy right here. Add a little tiny one right here. You can even take a little bit of light and kind of highlight it so that people see that it's a leaf in there. I'm loving it. I might need to step back though. Let me step back and take a look at it because I'm painting at an angle. Sometimes we have to do that and it's okay. Fill this guy in a little more over here. I love it. It's looking so good. Rinse off this brush. I can't wait to see all of yours. I'm going to add a little bit of brown. Not a lot, just a little to accent. Yeah, maybe bring some through here. Play with it through there. Let's see, what else can we do? Well, we still have a little bit of this red. Let's add a little red, like those little sound effects again. Look at that. I love the red and sunflowers. Reddish brown is what we have going on here. I'm going to take a little bit of this brown again. Dab around here. Look at this. Look at how much it's coming together. I love it. And of course, you know, when you're right on top of it, um, it looks totally different. So take a step back, walk away from your painting. If you need to take a little break. Um, I do that with a lot of projects. I just need to walk away from them and it's okay to walk away. I'm walked away from a project yesterday and I have not gone back to it yet. The deadline is today. So <laughs> it's definitely something I need to go back to, but you know, we'll see what happens. All right, so I'm gonna grab some white and just brighten up some of these stems here, okay? Just throw some white on, little squigglies. I'm gonna grab a little bit of this raw sienna here and throw it in some of these leaves. 
play with it around the outside. How's this going? Good, right? I love it. And eventually I'll get all this greenery straightened out. Right down here. I feel like it's just not straight. <laughs> it's not even is what I feel like. Because I'm stepped back. And maybe it's wrong. Maybe it's wrong in the camera. Let's take a look. Nope, it's right in the camera. All right. <laughs> That's all right. That's okay. So what we're going to do now is rinse off our brush really, really good. If you're at home and you have a Sharpie, definitely take a Sharpie. Um, if you're not comfortable initialing with your name and just grab a little tiny bit of that paint and then own your painting. Be the amazing artist that I know that you are and own your painting. Just go ahead and just add that little touch there to make that your unique painting. Thanks for tuning in and we'll see you again next week.